Hi, very good morning, children. Early Pavitra Ms. was taking class for you, six standard. Am I right? So, I hope she have completed the unit one completely. So today's class or today this week we will have a just a revision over the classes what Pavitra Ms. have taught to you. Uh, first prose one is uh, sports stars, right? So we will read out the just a summary of it. And then we will go ahead with some exercises of it. Okay. Uh, before going into the lesson, so if you do something uh, like if uh, if your teacher is asking you to uh, copy down the notes from the board, and if you finish it first, what do you will say? Immediately you will get up from your place and say, "Ma'am, Omas, I have completed." Right. So you expect some rewards, right? Everybody, if they do something good, they expect a reward from the the higher officials or the higher people. Like for example, uh, if you are at home, uh, if your mom is there and uh, and you people are sitting in your dining table and having your uh, dinner, so when your mom says that when you finish, when you know when you don't leave any food in your plate, and if you are going to eat your dinner completely. Then she will reward you, right? Most of mostly, the, mostly mom says right. So if you um, finish your dinner first, of if you do eat your food completely, I will give this, I will give you that, right? So rewards, rewards always boost us to do better. Okay. So here uh, there are some rewards which has been given to the um, sports stars, right? So already she have taught you regarding the Mithali Durai Raj, right? Uh, she is a cricketer, and uh, her nickname is what? Tendulkar of Indian women cricketer. Yes, she was very good in cricket. So, uh, just let us read out the summary now. The lesson is about a sports star of our country. What is our country? What is the country's name? India. Yes. Sports stars of our country. They have been widely recognized and acknowledged. So what what did the second line say? The stars are always recognized by us and also they also be acknowledged by us. So as soon as we see a uh, Tendulkar or uh, um, MS Dhoni, we immediately will come to know and we will call out the name, right? So, we are very able to recognize these sports stars especially immediately. And also we acknowledge them. Acknowledge is nothing but we were able to re recall their name. Okay? Uh, most of the time when some other people like you have met them two years or three years back. If they walk on the road, you may not remember their name. But you, you know that I have seen him somewhere or seen her somewhere. But I don't know the name. So, that is not recognized. That is not acknowledging. But however, when you see these people in the TV or in uh, in the some places, you will come to know their name as well as you will be able to recognize their field, everything. So that is what. They have received awards and medals for their endless excellence in sports. Yes. So when they do uh, the best in their sports, automatically the government or the people is always rewarding with the what medals and awards in this section the teacher reads a diary account of a schoolboy so what happens how how we are linking this mithali Raj lesson to us is so as what we are taking class one day what happens the teacher in the uh, prose what she does is she's getting a diary of the boy and when she reads the diary of the boy what happens the school boy loves cricket. So that school boy loves cricket. That has been mentioned in the diary. You Do you all have the habit of writing diary? It is not a school diary. What do you write the homework? It's a personal diary. Do you all have a habit of it? Okay. Some may say yes and some may say no, right? Okay. What is that? What is the habit of writing a diary? Is it a good or bad? Of course, it is good. What we do is usually... During the night time, what we have to do, we have to take a diary, our personal diary, and we have to write down the incidents, what happened today. So what happens, we can recall 
the things what had happened and we are analyzing ourselves what so what are the positives i have done what are the negatives i have done am i good what are the things i have to be correct what are the things i have to correct myself so these are the things we have to go on think and we have to proceed so this helps us this analysis process can be done only if we write the diary some people may not write the diary but they may be sitting before going to the bed like uh, they'll be having their prayer right in the bed so by the time we have to think what i have done or what are the things i have spoken uh, did i do good for the people or did i do bad for the people so by the time we must uh, really ask sorry for the people uh, when we realize at the prayer time when we realize that we have done wrong to somebody to somebody what we have to do is we have to seek apology the next day and when we do good we have to reward ourselves telling that very good we have done that so we have to do it the best the tomorrow so this enables so this these things uh, the writing a diary will help you to do all these things in a perfect way so it is good to write a diary and if you haven't tried uh, writing a diary start writing a diary from today onwards okay uh so this boy in our lesson the school boy is also writing a diary so that uh, fortunately the teacher gets the diary and when she reads she comes to know that the boy likes the cricket cricket so usually we we, we may also mention in the diary like i like i like uh, um i like to go to that place or i love this game or i love this uh, program in the tv or i love this uh, sometimes even the students used to write right i love this teacher i like her uh, i like her or his teaching uh, then i like my friend the names of the friend is right so so we will come to know the things real things about you people when you write your diary okay one uh, one day his teacher tells him about the mithali durai raj who is the captain of the indian women's cricket team in test and one day international odi what do you the expansion of odi is one day internationals odi expansion is one day internationals okay so uh, the teacher is taking a lesson about mithali durai raj and who is she who is mithali durai raj she is the captain of the indian women's cricket team she is the captain of the indians indian women's cricket team and she also took part in the test crickets as well as the one day international crickets so one day international what do you mean by that one day international and what do you mean by the test cricket hope all the boys may know hope the girls also know yeah test crickets will last for a week or <clears throat> four or three days right it may also extend to a week also what is one day international it will end in a day yes yes it has to end in a day and what is what does it mean that one day international yes the teams the opposition teams are both are from different countries so it is international one day international okay next he was surprised to hear from his teacher that <clears throat> mithali started to play cricket from the age of 10 so the boy was so surprised what how did the girl started playing the cricket from the age of 10 and he was also wondering what usually what we think cricketers na we always think about only the male members boys but she is a girl she is a woman so the boy was wondering this mithali durai raj being a girl and she started her cricket career from the age of what 10 and she was selected for the indian team at the age of 17 so within 7 years she she was so determined and she was working out so hard that by the age of 17 she had she was been selected as in the indian cricket team the boy had never let his sister to play cricket so what the boy was doing is he is not allowing his sister to come and play with him the cricket but however the girl the sister of that boy was so fond of playing cricket though mithali lived in hyderabad so what is the native place what is the place of birth of mithali durai rajas hyderabad so is she in hyderabadi 
Her mother tongue was Tamil, but however, she was a Tamilian. But she had started, her parents have started their life at Hyderabad, but however, she has a mother tongue of Tamil. She has the highest run scorer and the only women cricketer to surpass the 6,000 run mark in one day international. So what happened? She was the highest run scorer. Women highest run scorer. And also she is the only lady to what? To cross the 6,000 run mark in the one day international. She has secured more than 6,000, sorry, 1,000. I didn't, um, I have told you that 1,000, it's not 1,000. She was, she was the only lady to get more than 6,000 runs in the one day international. She was also the first player to score cons seven consecutive 50s. So she was the, and one more thing, what? She was able to get seven consecutive 50s. What do you mean by the word consecutives? What do you mean by the word consecutives? Continuous. The next, next, next. Back to back. Okay. In Tamil, we say adit, adit, adit. She is nicknamed as a Tendulkar of Indian women cricket. As I told you, she was nicknamed as what? Tendulkar of Indian women's cricket. But, but she says that the women should not be compared with the men in cricket. And she is also telling that please do not compare the men with women. Yes, right? So their bone power is different and whereas women bone power is different. So we should not equally compare the men with the women. This is her point and even her point too. Usually they say what? The bone power is more in men and the mind power is more in women. Yes. You must all understand the girls are having a great mind power, soul power. Whereas the man is having physical power. She broke the traditional barriers of many people. So she have broke. It is a past tense of break, right? In Tamil, what do you will say? What do you mean by the word break? If you drop a glass, what do you? It goes into pieces, right? It is breaking. So, the past tense of break is broke. She have broke the barriers. What do you mean by the word barriers? Huddles. And what is huddle? Uh, for example, <clears throat> uh, you might have seen in the um, running races, there will be huddles. Like they will be keeping one columns like thing. So, they have to jump over and they have to cross over and they have to run. So, that is huddles. In Tamil, it is called as a tadaigal. Okay, so it is barriers of many people. So it is not easy to come up, right? So everybody will face some problems in their life to pass on. So that is what is happening in Mithali Surairaj. And she has successfully crossed all the barriers. She has faced many barriers, but she have been she has successfully crossed it. Who think the cricket is only for men? So many people, when she started playing at the 10, they may not be encouraging her. They might not have encouraged her. Okay, so they may be, uh, everybody may be dis may discouraged her, uh, telling her that this is not a game of man, uh, it is only, sorry, it is not a game of women, it is only the game of men. So you please concentrate in some other thing or you concentrate in studies and this is, uh, girls, now they are good only for the uh, kitchen works or they can be a teacher or they can be a doctor but they cannot be a cricketer or sportsman. So, so these are the barriers. So people won't be immediately accept the uh, success of a woman in the sports so these barriers were there but she however overcome it and she was successful in that she proved that the women are equal to men in every field she have seen she said that by being a women cricketer she shown that even the women can play and can not only play they can also be very successful in the cricket okay not only in the cricket. So since she have proved in the cricket, it is very clear that clear for everybody that the women can <coughs> do their best in all the fields. The government conferred on her the Badmashri Award. So the government is awarding her, is respecting her, is acknowledging her with what? The greatest award. What award? Badmashri Award. Recently in the second women's 
T20 international so you people know right T20 in that international recently what did she do what did she achieve Mithali led her side to a comfortable 9 wicket victory so what she have done is she have have given us a victory she have given India a victory what victory comfortable what do you mean with the word comfortable easy not so they don't they didn't struggle much so that is comfortable okay they had a comfortable nine wicket victory so only they lost uh, only one wicket and with nine wickets they have won the victory but not only that what did she do she also have to how many runs 76 runs with an unbeaten 70, 76 runs so she has secured 76 runs in that game the boy was so surprised by mithali and he changes his attitude so on hearing all these things the boy immediately thought that, oh my god how a girl can do okay which means that even a girls can come and play and they can prove so it completely changed his attitude what was the attitude of the boy early yes he didn't allow the sister to play thinking that it is not the game of women but on hearing mithali thorairaj's story he thought that no no what i thought was totally wrong even the women can yes they can participate in the sports and they can also prove themselves and they can also be very very successful in that so he immediately changed his attitude he felt happy and allowed his little sister to play the cricket so he was very happy and he's asking his uh, and allowing his sister to play the cricket okay so here is a mind map very very important so what content we have seen we are putting it is on a diagram now so the main content the main uh, who is the heroine of the story is mithali durera so she is been written at the top so who is she she is a captain of women's cricket and what was her mother tongue it is her tamil then what was her achievement she was she is the only women cricketer to cross how many 6000 runs in one day international and also what she have also secured consecutive how many consecutive seven consecutive 50s next she is also called as what tendulkar of the indian women's cricket so by doing all these things what did she do she proved that women are equal to men and since she have done all these things what did the government done it have given her the padma shri award so what happens the next is unbeaten 76 in the second women t20 international she is also have what she have took 76 runs in the second t20 international women's cricket okay so this is what about the lesson so here they have given a creative writing what was that the boy was writing a diary right so here is a small gist how to write a diary how to write a diary so here see whenever we write the diary what we have to do we have to mention the place at which place we are sitting and writing the diary like if i am sitting in chennai at my home i will write that place so uh, for example if i go to my native place or i go to my mom's place or uh, my uncle's place what i will do i'll write the name like a place bangalore okay and the date at which date i am writing and also it's very very important we have to write the time at what time we are writing see you can see very clearly what it was the time was sunday 8 pm as i said most of the people will be writing the diary at what time during their night time yes every time so this is the content what happened today i read the biography of pv sindhu i told you right so the today's incident they will be writing in the diary so this is what today i read the biography of v, biography of pv sindhu she is also one more sports star women sports star okay the badminton player she is what a yeah, badminton player she was one of the two indian badminton player to ever win a silver medal in 2017 olympics so what was her achievement she have achieved what silver olympic silver medal in the olympics in which year 2017 i have watched her playing badminton with my family members so what the what the one who is writing the diary what they have mentioned they mentioned that they were sitting and watching the sindhu's pv sindhu's badminton with her their family members now after reading her biography i am inspired by her 
hard work and dedication so after seeing her playing the badminton what did the what did the boy or the girl have done is they have came home and they have read the biography of sindhu and by reading it they were so so inspired means what what do you mean by the word inspired inspired means were very very uh, uh, like uh, they are attracted to pv sindhu and they want to follow her that has been inspired i was inspired means i like to follow her path so i am inspired by her hard work and dedication any work any work to be successful what should be there hard work and dedication these two ingredients are very very important for a successful achievements okay despite of her busy training schedules she managed to attend regular school until class 9 so though she had a vigorous training very very strict training very strong training very very uh, continuous training for the badminton but she also what did she do she didn't let her studies go away so we should also never let our studies do away taking an advantage that since we have a covid 19 okay i have a great break let me sit comfortably at home no we should never take a break in our studies we must always be in touch in the studies so tell your parent ma i have to read i have to study give me that material or that this material so at least for 4 uh, hours or 5 hours you should study at home okay so what pv sindhu have done though she had a good training for her badminton she also managed to go to school till class 9 after that she did her studies to correspondency not only that after 9 since she was not able to attend the classes regularly at school what did she do she didn't let her study go away she let let the studies in the correspondence what do you mean by the word correspondence so here what do you do you come to school sit and learn with us and we come to your home through mobile or laptops nowadays and we are teaching so there is another way what they will send the book through the post what do you have to do you have to read take the textbook and you have to read the textbook on your own you must understand on your own and you must write the test that is correspondence course okay and now she holds a bachelor degree in commerce so what was her degree bcom expansion of b.com is what bachelor bachelor of commerce bachelor of commerce how well has she balanced passion to play the badminton so she have well balanced her i'm sorry she was well balanced her to play the badminton what is, what is what is the author meant by well balanced so here well balanced is nothing but she didn't let the studies go away or she didn't let the badminton practice to go away so she was balancing the both <clears throat> she was trying to do both in a better way so as well as her academics really very great so the boy or the girl is encouraging her but really the pv sindhu was very great she has become my role model so she is telling that the pv sindhu have become the role model as i said role model uh, when we see some model we would like to take up like model uh, like this a copy of it so role model i want to take a copy of pv sindhu that is i have to follow the path of pv sindhu and i will strive to become a sports star like her and he is taking a uh, promise that he also wants to become a strive struggle i will find my way i will struggle i'll have a determination and i'll also become a sports star like her and also excel in my studies not only in st- st- uh, sports but also in studies but also in studies so this is what the diary so today's session what you will do at home is you will be writing uh, today's a diary today's incidents completely in your diary and you have to send a photocopy of that to us okay you must send me a photocopy of that okay this is a session today i am ending the session with that so tomorrow onwards we will see the question answers and let us write the question answers in the class work so what you guys do i hope you all received your notebook so take a notebook you write the diary 
it's not that you're going to write in a diary you can write the diary your diary your own personal diary you co- you copy that content in your notebook also what happened today what do you like what you don't like uh, which one is giving happiness which one have given the happiness for you today which one made you sad today so all these things you note down in the <coughs> diary and write that copy of it in your notebook and keep it ready you have to send it to me tomorrow okay children have a nice day bye dear